This is Good Friday, just for my record, if you like. Just where I am. <laughs> my little chapel is... And the weather is extremely... Ooh. As we say in London town, it is a brass monkeys. Weather, almost, not quite actually. They <laughs> <coughs> call that guiding. We had two or three days of almost warm. I looked at last year, <laughs> at Easter, Saturday in fact, but and I've got 24 degrees here in England. It was a little later, it was April the 12th, I think. Anyway, this is the scene. Where will I be next year? <laughs> As ever. Where will I be at Christmas, actually? is my standard question. And I don't think it's going to be here, quite frankly. We'll see, as the grown-ups say. My background is not a very strong, religiously practicing one. Yes, of course, I've gone to church. I, church of England, as, as I grew up within that tradition, but I've since, I'm now 64 years old, I've since looked at becoming a, um, a Benedictine monk, in fact, through the Roman Catholics. That's the other main strand of my formal, but uh, a priest through the Church of England. Or a, a Benedictine monk. Neither of which have I pursued ultimately because I fundamentally find hypocrisy within the big organized church. Yes, I recognize. And they know much more than I do. But just look at the Sadducees and the Pharisees. This is it now. I'm in the it's just whatever it was, half past 12, so from 12 to 3, this is the time Christ was dying on the cross here in England. Obviously in New Zealand, it's all happened already. And in America, it hasn't started yet, but... The Sadducees, Christ was crucified because of the wishes of the Jews, the Jewish leaders, and so on. Caiaphas, the high priest, and the rest. And where are we now? We now have the Roman Catholic Church. A friend in Spain sent me a, uh, some information about a, a, a lovely Italian lass who apparently had visions of Christ, and her, her writings were, were castigated as heresy, virtually, just the, the ravings of a, or just the, the writings of some poet, not visionary in the slightest. So who, who, who's to tell? A friend's just contacted me here locally, telling me, he's, he sent me a book saying that actually, um, Christ was a, a person, a very bright, well-educated person, and he just invented the whole story. And he wants to argue that, this fellow. Oh, and he believes in his Buddha and Hindu gods, and, you know, pick a bit of this god and that god. I'm afraid I've just sent him back with the same 
The only answer I can give to that, and it is more fundamental than E equals mc squared, energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, as in Einstein discovered it, but it is there. So mass and energy are... Um, I'll move. <laughs> it's just a nice spot. I make films. Uh, just a lady coming through. It's more fundamental than that. E equals mc squared, for heaven's sake. This faith. Better part. All right. I'm very well. And you, sir? Got three, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Only two hands, that's the trouble. And two hands. They won't no run one anyway. They won't run anywhere, will they? Different directions. This one will search, the lab will search for food. Hello, you. No food today. Or lonely home. later, we're fasting today. <laughs> Is it over his, uh, the, you know, he had the jab or the wound or all that? What? Not really. There doesn't seem to be troubling him too much, so. Right. It's more fundamental than E equals MC squared. God says, I am, I am. Yahweh means I am. The tetragrammaton. You can't fiddle about with that. There's no point. It's just... It's, yes, I love questions. I'm questioning the whole of man, the, mankind's organised Christian religion. Hence why I'm alone now. Not at some mass somewhere. as no doubt many Roman Catholics would are. Ah, I've got all the passages. I'm going through, in fact, the Gospel of John is my guide here, or Luke, all of them, it's in all of them, this time in Christ's life, all four Gospels. And it's fundamental. Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one shall come to the Father but through me. So yes, I welcome questions and a questioning attitude to these things, but there's no point in discussing E equals MC squared. That's it's been available to the whole scientific community or the whole world for nearly a hundred years. I think I'm right there. I think Einstein uh, worked it out in the 20s, 1920s. And it's fundamental. It's not E equals half MC squared or MCTBFC squared. It's E equals MC squared. And there's no point in if someone wants to come and say no, it, it, it's something else. Well, I mean, all I can offer this fellow is that maybe one day he will remember that I merely gave him the answer the truth as I know it and for that matter as it ought to be known as it should be known as it will be known in fact there's no point <clears throat> if I found the pearl beyond price the truth well, and I, I, I sell all everything I own to buy that one field. I mean, if I know what the true path is, and it's long and straight and hard and narrow and so on and so forth, well, I'm not going to go off down some dark alleyway, you know, scratch around with a little bit of Buddhism here and a little bit of Hinduism there and a little bit of... Muslim there for that matter, or anything else, or get into being an earth mother lover or something, God is God, full stop, end of the story, uh, end of the story, no discussion, awfully sorry, there we are, amen.